Hello everybody, this is Brian Numismatic Stacker. How are you guys doing today? Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about bullion, silver bullion. It's no mystery that silver has had some really big declines. If you've been living under a rock for the last six months and all of a sudden, whoa, we're looking at silver less than 19. As a matter of fact, I did a video this morning and I just scrubbed it because silver dropped another 91 cents today. Is that possible? Holy moly, it really did. So the purpose of this video is to show you that there's a website out there that you can buy real, authentic bullion rounds and bars for around $2.50 up to around $3 over spot. You guys want to know what this is all about? I want to talk about this whole thing right now. Stick around. <music> Everybody, welcome to my channel again. So I want to show you guys some more tubes of bullion that I have. You guys know I had that big bag full of stuff with that has they're all encapsulated. Um, you've seen my hundred ounce bars. Uh, I have some other things here, and I, I briefly shown this when I was much smaller. But there's actually a couple more tubes in there. But besides the point, bullion's bullion. But is it really? Well, let's look at some stuff here. This stuff um, is a mixture. I have uh, Korean rounds. I have uh, some Cougarans in here. Should I open them up? I really don't want to scratch them up, but let's just let's just do it anyways. What the heck, right? Real careful, like that's how I like to open them up. Whoa, there's some that are stuck. Okay, there we go. You see, these uh, American Silver Eagles are a little bigger. So I got a couple 2021s, I got some 1999 and a 2014, okay? They're a little bigger, okay? Um, I do have a couple pieces that I got from, oh yeah, that's a really nice one. Bullion, bullion, bullion. So th this is a generic. So this is kind of in the generic zone. Um, we're trying to, we're going to target the cheapest, cheap, cheap, cheap silver that you can get. And that's what we're going to be focusing on today. Here we go. Generic. Boom. We're going to try and back the truck up with the cheapest of the cheap, 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 cheap silver today. And that's what we're going to talk about. Okay. And then we got some semi-numismatic, semi-numismatic. Okay. Onzas, Libertads. Okay. So kind of mixed it up here. So there's premiums on the Mexican silver. And the silver in the, the Mexican stuff is worth a little more than the American Silver Eagle now. As a matter of fact, they're around... Gosh, I can't believe they're 40, 45, 48 I've seen them going for. And I'm talking this stuff. Now, I'm not taking this out because for me to get these 1983 gems whole roll, for the price that I got these for, you can't even come close to it now. And that's, and that's the crazy thing. And the price of silver dropped to $18.29 during the recording of this video. And we're actually going to pursue getting more bullion. And what's it going to take for me to pull the trigger? Well, you're just going to have to wait and find out. And for this, we're going to have to consult the old interwebs. Okay, everybody. This is the website that I want to tell you about as authentic, real bullion rounds. It's called Hero Bullion. I will put a link in the descriptions below. So... Look at all these amazing things that they have. Britannia's $5 over spot, but these aren't considered as to be the cheapest generics anymore. Okay, there, there's a little bit of a premium on the British coins now, but a couple years ago, they were getting super cheap. So this is how you shop on this website. This website's a little different here. Where's my cursor here? Okay, you need to go to Silver Bullion right here. Okay, click on that thing. And it's going to pop up. You're going to have all these coins here. And what we're going to do is we're going to be targeting the silver bars. And we're going to be targeting the 10-ounce bars. 10-ounce bars, guys. Okay. Silver is at $18.57 now. It actually went up a little bit in the last couple hours. But that's okay. Let's look at these cheap prices here, guys. Look at that. $21.50 an ounce. That's $215. Wow, that's that's kind of the market I'm looking for. These really really cheap coin, uh, 
10 ounce bars, okay? What's it gonna take for me to pull the trigger on this? Well, I know that silver's pretty low right now, but I don't feel this is going to be the bottom. No, 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 no. And I wanna ask you guys a question, and please put this in the comments below. Do you feel like silver is going to decline a little slower all the way through into the winter? Or do you feel like it's going to move very drastically like we've seen today of a 91 cent drop? Let me know about that. Um, I still feel like with the so-and-so guy that's running this country that things are just not going to get much better. They're going to go into decline. We've been on four to five months of decline on silver right now. It actually costs $18 an ounce to pull this stuff out of the ground. It's going to get below that price point. They're going to be subsidizing the price of gold to get the silver out of the ground. Okay, but besides the point, I'm trying to show you guys some really cheap buys. Look at that, $21.40. Now, when I start seeing bars at $199 or less, I'm backing up the truck. I'm telling you, I'm going to get a minimum of 10 bars. Let's go to um, the Constitutional Silver. As you can see, now we're looking at 18 and a half times face value. Okay, that's some of the lowest prices I've seen in a few years, three or four years. Um, yeah, so, but if you buy the stuff here, you need to understand all this has been picked through. You're not going to find anything rare. You're not going to find any really nice condition ones. You're not going to find any barbers. You're not going to find anything that's worth maybe $20, $30 in there. It's all been searched. Okay. That's why I like to go to my dealer. If I'm going to get some prices and try and get them really close to that price range, when I take a handful out of there and I look at it, I'm going to start seeing good dates with mint marks in them. When I find a bag that has a good has a good batch of dates that has good mint marks, that's what I want. Because, you know, even if you're paying a little bit more, like like literally five cents more per coin, um, you're going to be getting it for cash. And for me to find something that's worth 10 bucks, 15 bucks, whatever, that's what I like. If I'm going to buy something on this, on this website, I might as well not even search it because I'm not going to find anything. I'm going to find dateless, SLQs, 40s, 1964s, you know, why would I want that? So I'm talking about, let's see, let's go to the uh, the half dollars. And this is something that you look at right here. You got your Franklins. You have your, uh, uh, the mixture of Franklin and Kennedy. I want to target the Kennedys. Okay. Why is that? Well, because these, you really need to, to uh, use a jewelry loop and look for those double dive verses, quadruple dive verses double die reverse, and there's four different RPMs on the 1964 Denver. Um, this can put a couple bucks in your pocket. Uh, you find one that could be worth 20 bucks, and you just pay 10 bucks for it. Um, if you're getting just call, you know, Franklin's, you're just going to, you're not going to get 1951. You're going to be getting a lot of 1963s, 1962s, 1961s. I mean, honestly, come on, come on, give me a break, right? So um, I like to get stuff from people that I know. And online constitutional silver is just, it's just constitutional silver. It's just common, common, well, common. When it comes stuff. to a website like this, I want to target the cheapest stuff. Cheapest. Let's go look at the buffaloes. Buffaloes are the cheapest that they have right here. 2205. Um, as a matter of fact, they were just around 21 not too long ago, guys, because silver just went up a little tiny bit, but it's still down. Okay. Um, we're on decline. Um, in a week from now, I'm hoping to start to see, geez, just barely over $20. I mean, I, it's going to get down to that point, guys. Um, and I really would like to get a tube of this. Not bad. Um, I want to I get a whole tube for about 400 bucks. That's something I want to target. Because when I'm looking at premiums and the price of silver, we've had SLV stock price at 27 for an average for quite some time. As a matter of fact, at the end of 2020 into 2021, that was the average price coming into the new year as $27 an ounce, while gold was down to 1680. 
So that's what I'm looking at. I'm looking at a profit. I'm looking at a zone here. So if I'm going to get a couple more tubes or something like this, I want to see if I can get that for $19. $19. So I'm waiting. $400 for 40 of them. Okay? That's a good price. So when we've seen silver go back up, after we have a new leader, it'll probably be about 2025 that we start seeing gains in silver. Okay? We can see $27 again. That'll be a profit of $9 a piece. So on a tube like that, we're looking at a pretty good profit. Not bad at all. It's really easy math. When it comes to buying silver and selling silver, it's always a change in the market. You need to adapt to it. That's why I adapted to numismatics for a long time. But now the price is coming down. Now I'm be focusing more on silver stacking. Um, just because I've been down that road, I've collected the right kind of things in the right type of times. The good times to start buying bullion rounds or 10 ounce bars of silver is, is, is coming very soon. If you want to, and I'm not a financial advisor, but go ahead and get some at Hero Bullion. Lowest price I've ever seen. I'm not kidding. Um, when it comes to like LCSs, and I've said this before, we're on a price lockout because a lot of their inventory was on a higher price. It's locked up in the safe. Um, even my my dealer that I actually go to that I bought tons of silver from, he's actually still charging more than on here. They need new inventory at a much lower price that, that they can flip it and get it for a price like this. They're still trying to liquidate other valued silver that they've had in their inventory okay so on the decline we have six dollars a spot silver's dropping these things come down like this like this like this but to get something like this on hero bullion is absolutely phenomenal i'm not sure if these have anything to do with a mark they might be but all those other websites like jam bullion sd bullion at max um they're all comparable to each other in the same margins the same profits the same premiums so um i'm giving it a try guys but i'm telling you 199 dollars for 10 ounce bar that is my price point to pull the trigger guys um and <laughs> it's gonna be great it's gonna be fantastic because a lot of this stuff i'm at around 31 bucks 31 bucks pretty much for everything because that's kind of where I was at. At $26 an ounce, I'm paying $31. But some of these things are a little bit more. Just a couple items like the Mexican Silver, uh, American Silver Eagles. Those are the only things that are up above all these other bullion rounds that we have. Oh, yeah. Ooh, more ounces. So what else we got here? I just want to close out and see what we got here. Yes, these are generics. Just, you know, I get them from Money Miles Exchange years ago. Um, I wanted to keep a one of every example. I used to buy multitudes of these and sell them on auctions. So I'm going to buy as much as I can, stock them up. And when the price of silver goes up a little bit, then we'll start doing some auctions again as well. That's right. So I hope you guys like what I had to say today. And I hope you guys give Hero Bullion a visit today and go shopping around and take a peek. Hope you guys like this video. Please give me a big thumbs up. I really appreciate that. It really helps YouTube algorithms get my videos out to people like you. And don't forget to subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. And don't forget to click that bell notification so you know when my new videos come out. Hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. I'll see you next time.